I'd like to welcome you back to the Bloody Fork Homestead. I'm inside of our burly tobacco barn, and it's, uh, it's something that we tried to bring back, and we are bringing back. Uh, normally, what would happen if you were farming burly tobacco is there would be three layers of tobacco here that would be drying out in this barn. There's three different areas all the way across, and it goes up uh, pretty high. Uh, but uh, so many of these type of barns are simply falling apart in Appalachia because no more government subsidies for tobacco. Nobody grows tobacco anymore. So these barns, they sit empty, but we brought it back. We have to repurpose it. And uh, this barn, uh, it is rough sawn oak. Uh, some great wood in here. And uh, the, the, it's being repurposed for animals. We now have quite a few animals, uh, goats, seven goats, a couple dogs. We've got some chickens over here, but repurposing it. Uh, one of the things that uh, happened in America is we got away from small farms. And now what we have is big ag. Uh, big ag is everywhere. And big ag is totally dependent on fossil fuels, totally dependent on the petrochemical industry for fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides. Didn't always used to be that way. In fact, uh, the main fertilizer crew for us is right here. <laughs> this is the fertilizer crew. Uh, goat manure in combination with some hay, and also the chicken manure. I don't need any other fertilizer. Uh, you know, that's the way it used to be with small farms in America. In small farms, we used manure. Manure was plentiful. Manure replenishes the soil. And it's great for the soil. And uh, it gives a livelihood. And that's one of the things that... Uh, we need to bring back in America, the small farm again. Uh, here's Nancy, she's, she's so needy. She always has to get her pet job whenever I'm around, oh Nancy. But I'm gonna go in a little bit more into that with another video and here's Bobby Butthead. The reason he's called Butthead is he likes to butt up against you. He's the youngest one, just a few months old. And this one here, she's the affection one. She'd be, she's like having a, a pet dog. She likes to get scratched behind the ears and, and, uh, and you're, you're trying to bite me. We got some needy animals. But uh, Bobby, Bobby, Nancy. Um, anyway, we'll go into that in a little bit more in just a minute.